less of a tip and more of a handy piece of equipment, we can use a colour passport to both help set our white balance later in RAW and to tell our software what our actual colours should look like by omitting the camera and lights combined interpretation. Opening our passport image in the software, it will automatically read and correct our image using the values it knows these colours should be. And then when we save them as a camera profile for Lightroom and Photoshop. In RAW, we can head over to the Camera Profile tab and change it from Adobe Standard to our saved profile. And hey presto, richer and more vibrant colours and contrasts you, that you never knew you had. It's important to do a new profile for each change in lighting scenario. Wow.